Hello everybody, the Insular Mind event is now live. We took a look at this on the test server and I'm kind of on the fence <laughs> on whether or not I'm excited that it's finally live because I was really excited to start it on the test server. It's similar to the Elemental Mind event, but they did quite a few changes to it. However, when I really got into playing it over the couple of weeks that the testing was open, it got a little bit tedious. There was so much clicking involved. I didn't finish it, but um, I'll get to that later. So I'm I'm here to check this out on the UK server today because I've already started playing it on international. I wanted to make sure that I started getting my chest, you know, on their cooldown so I could wait to open them. I wanted to get on top of that as soon as possible. So let's take a look at this. Uh, how do I play? Break up the clusters in the mine to make the chests autumn down. Should be fall down. That's a translation error right there I'm thinking a new chest will appear when you recover the previous one to break up clusters they must be the same color be made up of at least two overlapping blocks there are three types of chests each with a specific rarity items and the time you need to wait before they can be opened wooden chests are your most common one with the not so great items you have the golden chest and the crystal chest are the rarest with the best items in them to open the chest you can either wait until they open on their own you can use the boosters to speed it up or you can use a master key. With the booster, you can shorten the time to open a chest by four hours. To get the boosters, you get two per day when you log in and you will get tons of boosters when you open chests, I assure you. And of course, you can buy them from the black market. The jackpot is this really gorgeous divine. It's a new Mori divine, Rehua. I Oh gosh, I just really like this divine so much. I I really want it. I just don't know if I should finish this event. I just don't know how much it will cost, but he's so pretty. I love the design and his gift is nice as well. When the Tiki fills up with 1600 mana, you will get a Nyx pack. I think this will take at least three months, maybe more. I don't know. It just depends on how lucky you get with the number of turtle of uh, the turtle the turtles that you find every day. I'm not sure how long this will take. The one more divine I have takes about two months to drop its hair's pack, and it only has to fill the tiki up to about 1200, 1300 mana. Not as much as this one. I like this divine. It is nice. I just I just don't know if I'm going to try to complete this or not. So go back to the event go back okay we'll go this way all right that that works too okay and of course we have the golden horseshoes get at least two golden horseshoes to take part in the prize draw to get your second golden horseshoe you have to fill up the divine meter by 20 percent. so let's get started with playing ready to dig in the mine and unearth buried treasures to win the divine horse for you let me show you how okay so click on a cluster made up of two blocks or more to destroy it you have to click on these blocks right here because the arrow is telling us to do so and as they fell the blocks formed a new cluster for you to destroy and we also have to click on these blocks because the arrow is telling us to, to do so. You found a treasure chest already and this is the divine points meter. In order to get the divine you have to fill up this meter to 560 points. It's not like in the elemental mine event where he can be found in the purple chest. There is a Falabella divine in the purple chest but this divine you have to get by filling up this points meter. With every chest you find you'll get closer to the divine horse. You get the points when the chest falls into the slots not when you open the chest. A wooden chest is worth two points, the golden chests are worth three points, and the purple slash crystal chest are worth four points so you get them when this chest falls in which is why i have two points right now take these three boosters they will let you open this chest instantly awesome so let's open this chest and let's see what i get there we go all you need to do is open it to find out what's inside the scrolly wheel can get addicting to watch it's like a slot machine but if you get tired of watching this you can just press the refresh button and you'll get your prize immediately i started doing that on the test server just because i was opening so many chests and i was getting sick of watching the wheel go around and round happy with what you have if not don't worry every time or every item you earn is removed from the chest until you get the one you want the items are removed when you win them. However, it might look like some items are still there as it looks like there are multiple copies of certain items. For example, in the wooden chests, you will notice quite a few boosters as the wheel goes around. I think it's just because there's multiple copies of the boosters in the chest, but the items are taken out, especially for something like the fifth element. There's only one you can clearly see when the wheel goes around. So when you win the fifth element, it's taken out of that prize wheel. You won't see it as the wheel spins around again. Once you've won all of the items from that chest, then the prize wheel is reset, so to speak. All the items are put back in there and you can win them all over again, which is a detail that I quite like. Okay, want more? You can see the next chest that will appear in the mine here, which is another addition that I quite like to this. The elemental mine event did not have this. Destroy the largest possible clusters to fill up the meter and make the chest appear. 
All right, it's gonna take me a little bit to clear up all these blocks and drop this chest. So I'm going to speed this up so I can get to opening up this chest right away. Okay, I've dropped my chest. And now that the chest is in the mine, all you need to do is make it fall <laughs> to collect it. Here, I'll show you a little tip to speed things up. Click the explosion here to make the whole mine explode. Don't worry, you won't damage any of the chests that are inside it. So once you use this explosion, the tutorial one is free and then you do get um, one free per day. So for the first day, you get actually two explosions for free. You will click this. It will be free for this first one. The grid will explode. The chest should go into your chest slot if for some reason your chest disappears when you use the explosion take any screenshots necessary to show that you should have had a chest fall in there and then send that to contact us because there's been a few issue players have reported that their chests have disappeared for some reason and that's not supposed to happen okay this one is even more valuable than the last one there'll be even better surprises when two more chests and i will show you how to open them all at once good luck all right thank you so the next one is a crystal chest i could either keep clicking all these which is probably what i'm going to do on international because i don't want to waste any equis on the explosions but i'm going to show you how many explosions it takes to fill up the meter for the different chests for a crystal chests, it should take uh four explosions so this one is free but then after this the rest of them will cost ten thousand equis and then tomorrow the very first one will be free so that was my first one this is the second one for ten thousand equis i don't care about this server i have money to burn but i'm not wasting my money on international this is the third one and one more explosion will fill that meter up and I will get that chest. And for a gold chest, it should take two explosions and a wooden chest will only take one explosion to fill up the meter. All right, let's go ahead, finish this out. I could probably just use the explosion, but I'll go ahead and I'll click them. It shouldn't take too long anyway. Okay, so we got these here and let's bust out these little brown ones here. Okay, and one explosion for a wood chest. There we go. That completely filled up the meter. Thank you. Okay, so that was pretty quick. All right, let's drop. Uh, how about this one? Um, I guess we'll drop that. And then clearing out these white ones means I can clear out this pinky colored one, pink and yellow. And then we've got the white ones here. All right, now we get all three chests to open. Well done, you found all the chests. Don't feel like waiting. I'll show you the master key. This very first tutorial one is free, but after this, it should cost a pass every time you want to use the master key. I bet you can't wait to see what's inside all your chests. I will let you open them. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to skip the wood one for now because, well, let's check out what's on the wood one just because I'm curious. All right, the first wood one I opened on International just had a booster, I think. It wasn't anything special. Uh, I got a booster on this one. Like I said, you can just hit the refresh button if you want to skip the wheel, but it is kind of addicting. Okay, let's see what's in this. This chest has a few good things. Oh, yeah, Medusa's blood is pretty good. It's a pass item. All right, let's see what we got in the crystal chest. My first crystal chest on International contained an Achilles heel. I got 20,000 Aquas. That's, I'd rather take the Achilles heel because I could sell it for more than that. I did hear a few players got the Falabella Divine. Good job. I'm definitely not going to get the Falabella, I'm sure. I do like the prizes in here. The Falabella, of course, is in the crystal chest. Fifth Element is in the wooden chest. Nyx pack, Harmony pack, Harris pack, and the bonus pack too, I think. And maybe the Poseidon's pack. I think those are all in the um, crystal chest. Horn of Plenty, that was in the gold chest. Magic Cat, Bewitched Pumpkin is definitely in the crystal chest. I did do a breakdown of this on the test server because I was able to slow it down in a video in my video editor and then I could figure out exactly which prizes were in uh, which chest and I posted it in the spoiler form but it might be buried by now but you'll see what most of them are eventually. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to get the Falabella Divine. I did manage to get a Nyx pack on the crystal chest that I opened today, which was pretty nice. And I did get a fifth element too, I believe. Didn't I get a fifth element? This is on international. Yeah, so I did get a fifth element. I got a Nyx pack. And like I said, my very first crystal chest was, was an Achilles heel. Um, yeah. So in terms of a pass estimate for this, I just don't know. This one's quite tricky because a lot of it will come down to how lucky you are with the different chests that fall here. I could not determine a pattern of like how often the crystal chests were appear. I'm not even sure I would want a lot of crystal chests to appear even though they do give you four points when they fall into your chest slot. They take 24 hours. Is it 24 hours? They take a really long time to open. So that's a really long time that your chest slot is occupied. For a strategy, the only thing I can really recommend is that you make sure you pay attention to when your chests are ready to open. That way you can open your chest as soon as it's unlocked. You can clear that slot. You can 
keep playing really quickly to drop another chest and get your points. Just, yeah, just make sure you're clearing out these slots and filling them up again. That's about the best uh, advice I can give you. Unless somebody else has noticed another strategy, that would be nice. But back to the pass estimate on the test server, I spent the equivalent of 25 passes because I uh, spent diamonds and passes on the special offers, but I did not finish the event. However, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to cost upwards of 30 passes because I still had about 50 boosters left in stock, I'm sure, when testing ended. I just, it was getting really tedious. I, watching all those chests spin was really tedious. I, I, I kept refreshing the chests a lot because watching them go around and around and around was making me kind of crazy. So um, I did have boosters left in stock. I'm sure I would have won a bunch of boosters from opening wooden chests too, which means it's possible I could have finished it on those 25 passes and diamonds I had spent. Most of the time anymore, I try to budget 20 to 30 passes for events because that's what they typically cost anyway. But this one, I just don't know. I hope it won't cost too much because this divine is really nice. A lot of the prizes are very nice too. You just have to rely on luck to get you the nice prizes. So... I don't know. We'll see once I start playing it and then I'll decide at the end what I'm going to do. Let me know, let me know if you guys are planning on getting the divine, what you kind of think of the different changes that they've made to the event. I think they're on the right track with this, but just from my experience on the test server, it ends up getting very click heavy. So I'm not sure right now what changes, what further changes I would like to see down with this. Also, let me know what you guys have won so far, because I have heard from quite a few players that they have won the Falabella already. Already from the purple chest which I'm I probably won't end up saying but that's okay I've got an X pack so I'm cool with that so thank you guys for joining me today and I will talk to you soon bye